game. It's called, What Do You Do With a Killer? The rules are simple. I will describe a situation, then ask you a question. You must answer it honestly. If you do, you may save your life as well as the lives of others. If you lie, you could end up dead. Ready? People die every day. Some take their own lives. Others are murdered. There are three reasons people kill. Revenge, money, or to cover a secret. If I told you that a man killed himself on August 10th, 1991, you'd think it nothing unusual. If I told you that there was a 17 month period where 21 other people died of suicides, mysterious deaths, and one blatant murder, that still may not seem significant. Here are the dates of their deaths. A red slash means a death. A red X means it was ruled a suicide, even though much of the evidence doesn't support that conclusion. And a red M was an undisputed murder. But what if I told you that every one of these people had one common connection? What if I told you that connection was someone who was alleged to have been involved in drug dealing, money laundering, fraud, conspiracy, obstruction of justice, witness intimidation, and destruction of evidence? Would you think it unusual then? A total of 22 people dead, nine of them suicides, five deaths in the same day, Evidence that every person involved either had knowledge of illegal activities or were offering to testify against those responsible. State and federal officers who refused to investigate. Do you still think it's a coincidence? People hear about crimes every day. Many assume there is nothing they can do. Others think it is not their problem. So here is my question. You must answer it honestly. If you had the power to insist the government start an investigation into these deaths, would you do it? You have five seconds to answer. If you said yes, then you are ready to make a difference. Would you like to know the people accused of these crimes? That's right. All of these deaths involve people who were involved with the Clintons during Bill Clinton's time as Attorney General or Governor of Arkansas. Some were involved with Whitewater or the Rose Law Firm investigations. Others got too close to the investigation of the drug ring and money laundering in Mena, Arkansas. If you changed your mind once you saw who it was and don't want an investigation to reveal the truth one way or the other, all I can say is, game over.